What's going on, Be More Brew Crew? We are down here in the Be More Brew Crew headquarters, and this is our first live event. Hopefully, everything is going swell with this because trying to set everything up, it's been a little bit of a nightmare, but hopefully, we are rocking and rolling. You all can see me and you can hear me, and we're going to have a great little evening with lots of fun and exciting news about the group, about the channel, and we are going to be doing a live review of black flag brewing company barrels and ladders i have had this in the beer fridge for a while now and i have been looking forward to diving into this bad boy this is a imperial stout aged in heaven hill bourbon barrels for 18 months this is an 18 month bourbon barrel 11.8 percent abv We've got ourselves a tall boy here so i'm gonna crack this open and uh, give myself a pour, and then we will get into some of the stuff about the channel and what we have going on. So first, let me get this open. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Oh, that is dark. That is my kind of beer right there. For those of you that don't know, I am a stout and porter guy. Boom. Boom. Check out that right there. That is some fantastic brew. Oh, yeah. We got about a finger and a quarter of head right there. Oh, the bourbon barrels are coming in strong in the notes. Got a chocolatey nose. But that bourbon barrel, man, that's coming through tight. Wow. That is smelling good. Can't wait to dive into this one. Woo, baby. That is deceptively smooth for an 11.8%. Holy smokes. That is pure dark chocolate right there. And man, can you taste that bourbon. Woo. It is good, but it's not too much. It's right on. Anyway, all right. For those of you watching, thank you so much for joining us down here in the bar Towards the end of the thing, I'll, I'll give this a number. I'm going to have to enjoy it for a little bit, if you know what I mean. If you guys have any questions or you just want to say hi, drop it in the chat. Hopefully, I can see you all in there. It says comments. I have never done this live. I've done YouTube lives before, but this is my first Facebook live. So I am totally new to the Facebook. And uh, just coming back after being off it for, I don't know, like a year and a half or something. So I'm still trying to figure all this out, but... Hey, glad you're here joining us because we have got a lot of really cool stuff going on with the channel. So, first, this is kind of like a little impromptu event. Um, this Sunday, I can't say I am a super huge fan of the Super Bowl this year. I am still mourning my Ravens and their loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. But, hey, I am excited to say that we are going to be having an impromptu viewing party live from Das Beer Hall in Bel Air. For any of you that want to tag along and join, they are setting aside some space for the Be More Brew crew. And we would love to have you out there 6 o'clock to watch the Super Bowl. And I'm sorry, I'm going to be rooting for the San Francisco 49ers. I want to see the Chiefs just get heartbroken out in Las Vegas. I am tired of seeing Taylor Swift. I mean, I, I actually really, I'm, I'm going to say I love Taylor Swift as an artist, okay? And I didn't mind it at first when she was dating Travis Kelsey and they had the whole thing and they, occasionally they were cutting to her, but it's gotten to be too much of a thing. Seriously, like every time he makes a catch, I don't need to see Taylor Swift. I'm glad they have a great relationship. Maybe Mark Andrews, like next year, can date Miley Cyrus or something. If that works in the Ravens' favor, that would be fantastic. Oh, Nicole Myers, what is up? Hey, hiking and brews. Those are like two things in my life. Nicole, thank you for joining us here this evening. Um, so anyway, this Sunday for the Super Bowl, if you do not have any plans, feel free to join us at Das Beer Hall in Bel Air. It's a hot new spot. Uh, just recently opened a couple months ago. Probably, I'm losing track of time. It actually been more than a couple months ago. But it is a great spot in Bel Air, and uh, we have a spot for the Be More Brew Crew. I'm going to be setting up an event link, so hit that up if you want to join us for a Super Bowl viewing party Sunday at 6 o'clock at Das Beer Hall. they got lots of Super Bowl 
uh, treats and, and viewing party options. They got some great pretzels, some great crushes, and they definitely have some great beers. So keep an eye out for that event invite, and I will see you guys there Sunday at 6 o'clock. There will be some of the brew crew representing, and maybe we can even do like a live review or something because I'm going to watch the Super Bowl, but again, I'm not stoked for it. I'm probably more excited for the stupid commercials. I'm going to be totally honest about it. But i got to take another drink of this. Oh, that's fantastic. If you are a fan of Stouts or Porters, this is an Imperial Stout. Highly recommend it. Black Flag, you knocked this one out of the park. I'm going to be giving it a good score. Barrels and Ladders. See, I literally was going through the store, and that appealed to my inner nerd. It's got, like, Donkey Kong on the can art. And this is like some legit can art. It caught my eye right away. I'm a sucker for falling for good can art. And this one with Donkey Kong on it, bam, it hit me. So hopefully you guys can join us on Sunday. Now, we have some really cool things coming up for the channel, which I am excited to announce. We are going to be starting a new video series for the channel. So not only are we going to be doing our normal beer reviews, which are super fun to produce, we are also going to be doing a new series of beer with interview segments, where we're going to be interviewing uh, people that are very predominant in the beer manufacturing and distribution in and around the Maryland area, and we have several of these lined up already. Our first one we are going to be filming this Thursday with one of the owners of Abbey Wood Brewing, good guy by the name of Chris, and he's going to be coming down here and joining us down here at the Be More Brew Crew headquarters, and he is going to be bringing us some of his awesome brews. We're going to sit down. We're going to have a beer with him. We're going to find out a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff about Abbey Wood, about where they're going, where they've been, their startup, and we've got some cool things planned for that segment. We also have interviews lined up, which I'm really excited about, with Caroline Sisson, who is the uh, brand manager for Heavy Seas Brewing. We are going to be going live to the Heavy Seas, and we are going to be interviewing her and having a great sit-down conversation. We're going to be doing that next week. We also have some exciting other interviews I'm going to hold in my pocket for now, but I think you're really going to enjoy those series of videos because I always wanted to get out past just doing the beer reviews. The beer reviews are fantastic, but I really wanted to start this like social media platform where we could come together as a group, have fun together, and we could also get to learn more about the beers of Maryland, the breweries of Maryland, and what goes on behind the scenes. It's just as casual beer enjoyers and beer enthusiasts, we can learn more about like what goes on in these breweries in the state of Maryland, and I think we're going to have some great conversations in this video series. We are also... Oh, Adam. Hey, man. Welcome to the party, dude. I'm glad that you are excited. Yes, it is going to be great, and it is going to be a lot of fun. Um, Adam is definitely, if you don't know Adam, he is one of the reviewers you've seen in several of our videos. So, Adam, thanks for joining us here, dude. Um, we are going to be filming some reviews with Chris from Abbey Wood this Thursday. So, not only are we going to film his uh, Beer With segment while he's down here, he's also going to be taking on some reviews with us down here and um, I'm not going to give those away, what we're going to be reviewing just yet, but we have something really cool in store. And you know what? I will preview one of the ones we're going to be doing because it's something I am super stoked for because you'll, you'll find out why in a little bit. Now, another cool thing we have coming up, keep next Saturday open, all right? So next Saturday, we are going to be doing one of our uh, our new events. I will be getting an invite out that too. I'm working out all the details right now, but keep your Saturday early afternoon open. We are going to be doing something fun. We're going to be heading out to one of the local breweries, and hopefully we have something really awesome lined up for you. So keep that on your calendar because you know, I would love to meet all of you guys. I know some of you I had the chance to meet at our Heavy Seas event. Some of y'all I haven't had a chance to meet just yet, but we've had some great conversations on the Facebook, and I look forward to meeting everybody. So hopefully you can make it out to one of our events. And right now we have something in the works for next Saturday. Uh, so keep your time slots open probably around like 12 o'clock, and we could do a nice little meet and greet. And hey, Nicole... 
I don't know if you want to hit us up in the chat. Like, I don't, are your group doing anything this weekend? Because, Nicole, you run some fantastic events, too, and I can't wait to see what you guys have in store as well. So if you got something going on, let me know. But I've got something in the works, and I would love for you all to come out next Saturday. All right, need to hit, take a hit of this. Dang, that is good. You know what? I don't want to wait anymore. I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid week. I mean, this is full-bodied. Look how dark that is. That is just a fantastic brew right there. I mean, holy smokes. If you are in to the chocolate stouts and chocolate porters, you got to give this one a go. Because sometimes these bourbon barrel aged um, imperial uh, stouts and porters, um, you know, they're a little bit too, too heavy on the bourbon, but this one is just right. It is a fantastic mix. Holy smokes. Not too much lacing going on there. Oh, I love that. It's actually funny because the bourbon's coming through more in the nose than it actually does in the palate. Oh, very full body. It's nice, like some nice, warm, chocolatey medicine going down. Okay, so I'm going to get zero to five. I'm going to be giving this four and a quarter, baby. Four and a quarter on the barrels and ladders with Donkey Kong on the can art. Four and a quarter. This is fantastic. I would definitely have this again in a heartbeat. I need to go to Black Flag. This just dropped, I think, around December. So it should be around for a little bit. I know you can get it in four packs. Good stuff. Give it a go. Okay. Next up. So we have the event for next Saturday. Keep that open. Keep an eye out for the invites. Keep your eye out on the event schedule. Now, for all of you out there, I would love it. It's my dream for this group to become a fantastic social group of beer-loving enthusiasts in the state who come together through like social events and just have fun together. So we can get together, hang out, do happy hours, pub crawls. Um, and some of the, the really cool events that we have lined up that I'll give you a heads up on some of them here tonight. But invite your friends. If you have beer-loving friends in and around the state, invite them into the group. We would love to have them. Uh, I want to grow this group to the point where People can be setting up their own events, um, hosting their own events. That you might not be able to make all of them. Certainly, I am a family guy. I'm not going to be able to make all the events, but I want people to be able to host their own stuff. What's your passion about? I've already had people approach me to do like a uh, like a Dungeons and Dragons night. I thought that was cool. Like it's something I've never been personally into, but I'm sure a lot of people out there would love to do like a Dungeons and Dragons night. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so I want to encourage all of you to invite your friends, invite your family members who are into craft beer here in Maryland and get involved, like get involved with the the group and the channel because I look forward to seeing where we're going to go in the future. So one of the events that we have lined up for the summer and maybe not too much into the summer is we're planning a big Orioles outing because obviously the birds of Baltimore is going to be a huge part of this channel. So we are going to be planning a big Orioles outing one night. Keep an eye out for that. We are currently in the planning stages working with the Baltimore Orioles to get us the absolute best pricing and see what we can do. But I'm thinking we do an early, uh, like an early event, maybe at Pickles, uh, where we kind of tailgate a little bit and have some fun before the game, then head over to the stadium, and we're going to have our own section set aside for the Be More Brew Crew, and then we will have a fantastic night down at the yard as we're watching this year's birds hopefully recapture that AL East title because last year they captured our hearts, came out of nowhere. Um, I think our window is now, and I'm excited to see what the Orioles do this year. That's right. Let's go O's. Okay, so we got the Orioles event coming up. We are also going to be planning a trip out to, um, hopefully, Frederick. And I want to hit up the uh, Idiom and RAK breweries. So we're going to be doing that soon. That's going to be a great time because those are two really hot spots. If you haven't been out to Frederick to see those, 
and I would highly encourage you to go out and see those. If anyone has any recommendations for other breweries, I know um, one that we have an idea of that we're trying to plan right now is with uh, some of the ones downtown in Baltimore, uh, like Ministry of Brewing. Uh, we would love to go there. Uh, Mobtown would be another one. And uh, Pickett, I would like to hit that spot up where we maybe can do like a pub crawl or a brewery crawl and do a bunch of those in the same day. That would be pretty sweet to do something like that. So we have something like that in the works. And then also one of the big events we have coming up, St. Patrick's Day weekend, we have... And get this. So Adam and I right now, we are in the final stages of kind of planning this, getting the uh, reservations and stuff worked out. We are going to be headed St. Patrick's Day weekend to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are going into enemy territory and we are going to be taken on St. Patrick's Day weekend in Pittsburgh. We want to see what they're doing in Pittsburgh because I don't think it's going to be comparable to what we are doing here in Baltimore. I am going to be rolling into Pittsburgh with my Raven stuff on, with my O stuff on, and we're going to be hitting up their breweries to see what they have dropping St. Patrick's Day weekend in Pittsburgh. It's also my birthday weekend. I am a St. Patrick's Day baby for those of you who did not know. So that is going to be a great trip. For those of you that might be interested in joining us, we have a limited amount of spots available, but it will be an absolute fantastic time in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, St. Patrick's Day weekend. If you want any of the details, be sure to hit me up in the group or hit up admin, uh, one of the, uh, the admins, and it's going to be fantastic fantastic it's gonna be an absolute blast i'll probably drop i started putting together some like little marketing materials for it but super stoked about the pittsburgh weekend coming up in march now one of the last things that i wanted to go over tonight that i am very excited about you know what it's it's i can already see wow i've been live for 18 minutes already and uh geez louise like for me, this is way past my bedtime. I'm kind of a nerd because I got to wake up super early. But I wanted to go over this. So one of the things that we are going to be reviewing on Thursday, and I just wanted to give a huge, huge shout out to Caroline over at Heavy Seas for making this happen. Originally, we were supposed to be shooting um, our Beer With segment this Thursday to celebrate the release of their Midnight Diver release, okay? That's their brand new sour that's gonna be dropping this Friday at Heavy Seas. So, here is the little sheet for it. Check it out. Uh, the Midnight Diver is a blackberry mango sour ale, 5.4% ABV, is six on the IBU scale, and it's using citra hops and pale malts. It's got blackberry puree and mango puree. And it will be available this Friday. Now, we were supposed to sit down over it this Thursday to do our Beer With segment. We had to postpone that till next week, but Caroline was nice enough to hit us with the Midnight Diver early. I am excited to try this. We're going to be reviewing this and have our review out first thing Friday for the brand new Heavy Seas Midnight Diver. So this is where this channel is going. We are literally getting some beer for the channel before it even drops to the public, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Caroline, for hooking us up with this amazing beer. We are going to be reviewing it this week. Our review will be dropping on Friday, the day this beer comes out. Super stoked to review it. Little behind-the-scenes knowledge for me. I used to not be a big fan of the Sours, okay? I was not a person who would ever, ever go and buy a sour. Then COVID happened. So weird thing with that, I never liked coffee either. I used to hate coffee. I used to love the smell of it, but I used to hate the taste. COVID happened. I love coffee. COVID happened. I love sours. Don't know what happened, but it messed with my palate. Stupid COVID. It really awoke my palate, my taste buds, and now I am a huge fan of the sours. I love the taste explosions that they leave in my mouth, and I love coffee. I am now a totally black coffee drinker. I don't know what it is. I could totally appreciate all the different coffees, and um, yeah, I think I am uh, really looking forward to reviewing this sour on Thursday, and our review will be dropping on Friday. 
So thank you so much, Heavy Seas, for hooking us up with that. And for any of you out there who think your brews are up to the Be More Brew Crew Challenge, hit us up. We would love to review your stuff because our tagline is, if you brew it, we will review it. And I mean it because we have some great characters. We've got some great people here in the Be More Brew Crew. And we look forward to reviewing everything that you have to brew. So hit us up and we will review with our best efforts your fine brews. So that is kind of a brief what's going on with the Be More Brew Crew. Thank you so much for uh, being a member of this group. We are stoked that you are here. We hope to bring you lots of amazing content on our YouTube channel. If you are not yet a subscriber to the YouTube channel, I would heavily encourage you to go to YouTube. The link is in the group page. Give us a subscribe. That way you are notified whenever we drop one of our new reviews, whenever we drop any of our social videos, and whenever we drop any of these new uh, beer with segments that we have planned because we are super excited for those and you know everything that's going to be going on behind the scenes that we're going to be bringing you especially for the, all of our social events and stuff like that um we are working really hard to to bring you guys some great events we are going to be doing some giveaways we've got some stuff coming our way where we're going to be able to give you guys uh, some merch drops and some beer giveaways and stuff like that so stay tuned Oh, special shout out. Thank you so much to Maryland Championship Wrestling for the free tickets that you gave us to this past Sunday's event. We had an absolute amazing time over at the MCW Arena Sunday night for your anniversary show. We got to join up with some members and we had a great time watching some fantastic wrestling. I tell you what, I I was super into wrestling growing up as a kid and uh it's really rekindled my passion to see uh, some of these uh, local up-and-coming wrestlers working their way through the ranks, and Maryland Championship Wrestling puts on a great show. So thank you so much, Maryland Championship Wrestling, for working with us and getting us some free tickets to your event on Sunday because we had an absolute blast. Me and my son went out. Uh, some of his friends went out. We met up with some of the members of the Be More Brew crew who hit us up with those free tickets, and we had a blast. I'll tell you what, they put on a great show. So... Hopefully in the future, we will have some more free tickets coming your way, and we have lots of other free giveaways that we're going to be doing, and we are working extremely hard behind the scenes, all the admins of the page, and everyone that you see uh, on camera here on the channel has been instrumental in growing what we've been doing so far. So thank you to everyone who's been behind the scenes working with us, doing the reviews, and we look forward to continue bringing you excellent beer content from in and around the state. And uh, I think that is all I got for tonight. So I am going to be wrapping this up. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of what we are starting. And I look forward to bringing you just lots of awesome content in the future. So cheers, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I got to finish this because, man, this is too good to let it go to waste. I don't want to chug it because I just want to enjoy it. Dag diggity. Yeah, I'm not going to chug. This is not chuggable. I'm going to be taking this around with me for the next like 10 or 15 minutes to finish this up and just really enjoy it. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, aloha down from the Be More Brew Crew Bar. We'll be seeing you soon. And take it easy. Peace out. If you're going to drink, drink responsibly. The life you save might be mine. Aloha.